Hey, what's going on guys? My name is <laughs> Wyatt. My name is Shane and welcome back to my video. So today, I hope you guys don't mind, we're gonna have another chit chat, very casual video. This should be the first video coming out. Um, maybe not. I started going spray tanning again. Look at my hands, it's gross. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, okay, so I wasn't gonna film this morning. I have to do something this morning with my makeup. Obviously, my foundation, I'm trying to get my necklace off. My foundation no longer matches my skin. So I just went to Walmart this morning. Does anyone else have nails? And hates putting in earrings and taking off jewelry. It's the worst. The foundation that I've been using is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. And to be honest, when I went there this morning, I was looking for the dewy version and I only found one single bottle. <laughs> because during the spring and summertime, I like to use dewy foundations versus um, Matt, and I was gonna do like an updated summertime routine and stuff, but I might go to Walgreens and see what they have soon. So in the meantime, you know, I could always put in like my Cover FX custom drops to give it more of a shine, or even I have my strobe cream from Matt. So there are ways that I can make this foundation dewy. So I ended up getting three different colors because I don't know what shade I am right now. Um, this is a first spray tan that I got, so I might get even darker but I picked out three different shades, um, going from lightest, kind of medium, and then a darker one. So we're gonna try these three today and see which one matches me perfectly. But I, <laughs> I have such an embarrassing story to go along with this whole spray tan thing that I figured I would share it with you guys. So as we try these foundations this morning, I'm gonna share my experience. So this is Maybelline number 310, and this is in Sun Beige. And I'm just hoping that one of these products um, is gonna end up working out for me. So I haven't gotten spray tan since I kind of just stopped for a while. Like I never really found, you know, it just got expensive and I just, I kind of stopped doing it. <laughs> so with that being said, I haven't been to a tanning salon in closer to 10 years. And so you forget some stuff. So I went there with Ella. Normally I don't take her to stuff like that to get my nails done, but if I need to get it done and I, I can't really avoid it, then I'll take her. But let's see what this one looks like. That first one actually wasn't a bad match. So that was 310. Let's try 322, which is warm honey. <laughs> So I go into his tanning salon. I actually ended up searching. I was gonna do a trying best rated tan salons. So this one is actually one that I found that had five stars. So I decided not to film the video because I'm like, we've already done two best rated videos. Like I should probably do a worst rated video first, but I wanted to still get my tan done. So I went in, girl was super nice. She was helpful. She brought me back to the room, got me set up. And so that one's a little bit darker, obviously, but it might end up being a better match to match my neck. Um, <laughs> but that leaves 330, which is even darker, which this one is probably gonna be too dark. So this is Toffee Caramel. So at the moment, I'm thinking probably number two. Oh, girl, you're spilling your cereal, hold on. I get to talk a little faster so this foundation doesn't dry like that. Uh, this was, what, 3.30 I just said? Yeah. So I go in, you know, I get my tan done. Now, it's a big machine and it, I forgot how much noise it makes. And it's not a crazy amount of noise, but Ella has never liked loud noises ever since she was a newborn. Any loud noises, fireworks. I think I might know what it may have caused or triggered like loud noises being a scary thing. We had an incident when she was a newborn. Uh, and this is the darkest one. I'll put it here. I think I'm gonna try the lightest one and then keep, I think I'm gonna keep 310 and use that right now, which is the first one we put on. And then I think I'm gonna keep 322 just in case I do continue, because I, I do plan on tanning more um, just to maintain a color. And then 330 is just simply too dark. So that is gonna go back to the store. So anyways, I'm gonna just continue my makeup real quick while I finish this story up. So I go in, I get, I get undressed, I put on my lotion. Now I should have done the lotion better. Again, it's been a long time. So my hands, like I took the lotion and I did this and I went in between my fingers, but honestly, I should have just gone all over my hands because this is what they look like. My feet are like even worse. Hi baby. My feet are even worse. Like the bottoms of my feet are completely brown. Yeah, I'm talking about that machine you didn't like. Yeah, I, it was a little bit of trial and error. I gotta put the lotion a little bit better on. Like even where my eczema is, 
Like I'm super splotchy. So I'm gonna take some of my foundation today, mix it in with my lotion and just go over a couple patches on my skin. <laughs> Anyways, so I go in and I get, you know, I, I do my spray tan. Now when, when I'm into the machine, I'm trying to reassure Ella like it's gonna make some noise. Again, I didn't remember how loud it was. It wasn't crazy, but it was loud enough that I knew she wouldn't be okay with it. So I go into the machine and it starts. So you, you know, face, front, and you kind of put your arms out so it gets your whole body and kind of go up and down. And then you're supposed to, it stops. You're supposed to turn around and it goes up and down. Mind you. So while I'm in the machine, the door is like open. The machine door is open. There's no, like it doesn't close you in. So she's like right around the machine sitting on a chair. So I'm trying to talk to her over the machine. I'm like, baby, it's okay. I said, mama's fine. Like I'm not hurt. Like I'm just getting sprayed. It's just like a shower. Like anything I can say to reassure her that it's just, it's just a tanning machine. It's, it's okay. <laughs> so, oh, so when, you know, the girl brought me back there and she said, she told me the basics of like what the machine does, but because I've been tanning before, like I kind of knew what to expect. But she did say that the machine would kind of tell me what to do, like where to stand, because there were like numbers on the floor. It would tell me how to stand, where to stand, all that fun stuff. So she leads me to it. I get undressed, I apply my lotion, I jump into the machine and I turn it on. So it does its thing. Ella's freaking out the second that it goes off. So I'm trying to comfort her. So I'm not listening to this machine. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, in full mama mode. I'm trying to take care of my kid, make sure she's okay. We finish up my tan session, I get dressed, I go out front, I thank the lady for setting us up, and I'm off my on my way. I think everything is fine. And then I don't know what happened, I don't know if I was just like itchy, but for some reason I like touched my chest, like I felt right here. And right after you get a spray tan, it almost leaves like not a residue, but your skin kind of feels a little sticky. Takes a little bit for the self tan to develop. Like you're not supposed to shower six to eight hours afterwards. So like you're not really supposed to do a lot with your skin. So I'm feeling my chest and I can feel that, you know, this skin definitely got sprayed. Wait a minute. And I touch my back. Oh my God, I'm almost too embarrassed. I touched my back. This is not the stupidest thing that I've done. But I touched my back. I never got the back of me sprayed. <laughs> I was so worried about Ella and the machine that I didn't hear when it told me to turn around. So I am crying. <laughs> I'm crying at this point because I even forgot to like take off my makeup. I had brought in my makeup wipes and I forgot to take off my makeup the first round. So I was already frustrated about that because I knew I was gonna have a really pale face and a tan body and I went medium. So I didn't go like the lightest setting. I went pretty dark. So I called the girl crying and I'm like, we were just there. I said, I had my daughter. I said, I'm so sorry. I said, I don't even know. I said, I'm so incredibly embarrassed. I said, but I only spray tan half of my body. <laughs> She's like, what do you mean? I said, I, now my, I'm cracking up on the phone. I can't even compose myself. I said, I'm so embarrassed. I said, but my daughter did not like the noise of the machine at all. So, so consumed with her that I didn't hear when the machine told me to turn around. And I said it, and it was only when I was driving home that I touched my skin and noticed <laughs> that only the front half of my body got spray tan. Can you imagine if I came this morning and I was like, look at my spray tan and the whole back of me was still white. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. She actually ended up letting me um, come back and respray. I'm like, oh, perfect. They said, now, you know, I said, I'm gonna take off my makeup and just let it go over my face once. So like, my nose is so, it almost looks orange for some, for some reason. Um, and the spray tan only went over my face once. So, I don't know. But regardless, she she's like, I'll put a little note um, <clears throat> next to your account for my boss. Mind you, this is the first place I've ever been in here, so I'm a new customer explaining the situation because she ended up giving me the second tan. Like, she didn't charge me to come in that second time, so she's like, oh, I'm sure he's just gonna say, you know, like, whatever, but I just gotta leave a little note for him. I don't think I'd be charged, but if I am, you know, charged for that extra spray, you know, it was my fault, but I just, I couldn't even believe 
myself. <laughs> Did you just sign off of my video? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I am gonna go ahead and finish my makeup. Today was not like a makeup tutorial. I just wanted to come on here, test out these three foundations and find my perfect shade. So again, I think for now I'm going to use 310. I feel like it's a little bit too light or maybe not the perfect color. I have 322 I'm going to hang on to as well. So thank you guys so much for watching today's casual video. I am going to fix this whatever the heck is going on on my face. <laughs> I am so incredibly embarrassed, but I hope you guys enjoyed this embarrassing story. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button for my poor hands. Oh my god. Oh, ew. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.